Hi everyone, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I've had a couple of questions, uh, very specific question, since I do have a GI-275 added to the airplane now. And G5s have been in it for, uh, oh gosh, over a year now. Uh, a couple of people have said, hey, if you had a choice, which one would you take? And that's a real good question. And honestly, at first, I thought about it, and I thought, oh, I don't know. I was kind of leaning towards the G5, but uh, I thought I'd do a, a quick video while I'm en route here and show both of them to you and uh, kind of make you, uh, or let you make up your own mind as you do your research, and also give you some thoughts that uh, kind of surprise myself on that. So, hey, here's a look at the two set up as close as I can to show in the same information. And there's a look at the overall panel. Uh, of course, as you know, the G5, you have to keep the uh, uh, original instruments in. It will not function as a primary. Where the GI-275 will, you don't need the uh, regular airspeed and altimeter. So that would be a real plus, I think, if you were uh, uh, completely rebuilding your panel and you you know, really want to modernize it, but you don't want to go to the G3X, and that's a whole nother story. Uh, you know, why would you go to all all glass with GI-275s and not go to the G3X uh, route? That's that's something else that, uh, you know, could have much discussion. Let me take a look here. I've set up the even though I use the 275 as an MFD or multifunction display, you can still look at the uh, HSI page and the map page and uh, stuff like that. But for purpose, and I, I did another video that I think maybe you've seen uh, showing all the different pages that uh, the MFD will do. I like the traffic page a lot. So here we are with the HSI page. Now it's showing our track instead of heading. It's not picking up the uh, 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 magnetometer, the GMU-11, which is mounted back in the tail. So uh, it is showing track instead of heading, but that's just a function of the way it's set up in this particular airplane. There you can see we're uh, tracking 145. FOSOB is the uh, current waypoint, the ETA. Very nice. I must say the uh, the resolution is excellent. It really is good. And the thing that kind of surprised me as uh, I looked at it even further, I think the display is actually a little larger than the G5. Now I'm going to pan over here to the G5. Like I say, I have it set up as close as I can. And there's the G5. I'm trying to keep the camera the same distance from the panel. So you can have a uh, uh, as direct a comparison as possible. Resolution is not quite as good. Perfectly readable. I really like it. Easy to read, but side by side, it does not have as good a resolution as the uh, the uh, GI 275. I thought with the square display, it would actually give you more display area, and perhaps it does by a little bit. You can see how it puts the information at the corners there. But honestly, it's very, very uh, small difference in the, in the display area. So there we go, G5. I'm going to go back to the 275. And to tell you the truth, if I was starting from scratch right now, I would have gone with the 275s. They all talk to each other, just as the G5s talk to each other, and of course the G5s, all of it, all of it talks nicely with the uh, GTN 650 and all the other Garmin gear. But I must say, if you were redoing your panel, sliding that 275 in from the back, to me it's just not worth the extra expense of flush mounting the G5s, but again, just personal preference. If, if it's easy to do on your panel, you certainly can. But I chose to do the uh, the front mount on the uh, G5s. I mean, am I going to pull the G5s out and put 275s in? No, not a chance. 
uh, to me it just wouldn't be cost effective. But again, if I was starting from scratch, I do believe I would go with the 275. So there you go. I hope that was helpful if you're trying to make that decision. Hope you have a great day. Once again, thanks for subscribing to my channel, and uh, we'll leave you with a nice view of the snow in the Sierras. If the camera will focus. There we go. The snow in the Sierras, which we much, much, much need the water here in California. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for viewing.